Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a super simple way that you can create an offset image border for an inline image on your Squarespace website. Now this tutorial is done in my 7.1 demo site, but the code is exactly the same for Squarespace 7 and 7.1, so no matter what version you're in, you're in the right place. Now the code I'm using today is listed in the description below, but I'd love to show you really quickly how it works so you understand what parts you're going to want to change for your own website style. Okay, let's hop into my demo site and get started with this quick one today. So here we are in my demo site. I have a simple inline image. I'm going to hop into edit mode to show you here. If I select this image style and take a look at that design menu, it's inline, this first option here. Now, this is specifically for inline images because of the way that I've written this code right here. I'll go ahead and select done, and we're going to hop into the custom CSS section of this site to add that code. I'll navigate to design and then down to custom CSS. So you'll see right here I said design layout inline. Then we're going to take that image block wrapper and give it a border, and I'll walk you through all the rest of it. This is the code that's in the description below. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it right there into the custom CSS section of my site and check it out. We get that neat offset border. I'll scroll down a little bit because it works great for sections with images behind them too. So it can still be visible within that border. I think that's a neat effect. All right, let's break this code apart so you can understand what you're gonna wanna change for your own website. Now borders, you can get really creative with these. I have more information on building unique borders at insidethesquare.co forward slash borders. But for right now, I'll show you the basics. This first part adjusts the width of the border. We can change that to 10 px if we want it to be thick, 1 px if we want it to be just one pixel in width. Um, let's go ahead and stick with five. Over here we have solid. We've got a lot of options there. We can say dotted if we want to. We can say dashed if we want to. Quite a few options there as well. And then after that we have the color. You can use a hex color code like I did here, or you can even just type in the word like orange and work with a web safe color name any type of color you'd like to use in your custom code just replace that last part of the line right there okay now after that we've got two important things that i need to point out the first is overflow visible if you don't add that line right there you're going to get your image cut off within the border so we need to make sure that overflow is still visible and then after that this is what actually scoots the image and slightly off from the border we have margin left and margin top we can totally adjust those. We can say margin top negative 25% to scoot it up. Or I can say margin left 5px and scoot it much closer to the edge of that border. Or 50 and scoot it much farther away. Play around with those values right there to make it suit your own site style. And that's it for this super quick tutorial. Pretty easy way to create an offset image. Now again, the code I used is listed in the description beneath this video, but definitely play around with those values, create a unique border, and adjust that margin to fit exactly how you want it to on your own website. And again, if you want some pointers on borders themselves, I have a whole write-up on my blog at insidethesquare.co forward slash borders. So head on over there to get some creative ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.